This is Lesson 2, Creating an Xcode Project Using PhoneGap. First thing we do is open the PhoneGap folder and click on Docs. Then click on index.html. This is the Apache Cordova documentation page. As we scroll down to the Guide section, click on Getting Started Guides and then Getting Started with iOS. We will now examine each of the sections of this document. First, let's review requirements. To use Xcode, the user must have the following. Xcode 4.5 or greater. Xcode command line tools, Intel-based computer with Mac OS 10 line or greater. And necessary for installing on the device, one must have an Apple iOS device, iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, an iOS developer certificate, which we'll discuss this in later lessons. Next is to install the iOS SDK in Apache Cordova. The first thing you must do is install Xcode from the Mac App Store. To do this, click on the Mac App Store and you see the Xcode appear. You can do this in the App Store by clicking this button. Now, because Xcode is installed on my machine, it already indicates that it's been installed. However, if it has not been installed, you simply click the Install button and install Xcode on your system. It takes approximately an hour to an hour and a half because it's a large 2 gigabyte plus file. After Xcode is installed, then you are instructed to install the command line tools by doing the following. I'm going to launch Xcode on my system. So the instructions tell us to install the Xcode command line tools. I've activated Xcode. We click Xcode, Preferences, and we go to the Download section. You see there's various parts of the preference section, downloads is what you want to click. The command line tools, if you had not already installed them on your computer, would indicate an install button which you would click to install the command line tool. So once this is done, you can exit this portion of Xcode. Next it says to install Cordova LIB. We have already downloaded the Cordova source, which is the PhoneGap folder we discussed in lesson one. We've already extracted the a folder to our desktop. The next section is the one that's a little bit tricky. This describes how to create a new PhoneGap project. First you would launch the terminal app. So you can do so by going to Spotlight and typing in Terminal. You see Terminal appear on the screen. You can double click it and now the Terminal app has been activated. It appears down on the docking station and this is the text that you see on the screen. This indicates that it's my MacBook Pro, and there's a tilde sign, and Winder dollar sign. Winder is simply the uh, file structure that I use on this computer. We're going to see how this changes in a few minutes. So let's close this down. Once we have launched the terminal app, it says the following. Drag the bin folder located in the permanent folder location of Cordova from the install Cordova LIB section above the terminal app icon in your dock. It should launch a new terminal window. So what we do is we double click on the phone gap folder, as we've seen here, and we're going to make this smaller, close the dock, open LIB, scroll down to iOS, we're going to highlight it, left click on it, and drag it down to the terminal window. And when we've done that, let's close this down now, we see a new window appear, and it has my name, Gregory's MacBook Pro dash two colon bin Winder dollar sign. So bin now has replaced the tilde sign. This is very important that you see this after you've dragged the bin to the terminal window. Now the next section says type in dot forward slash create project folder path, package name and project name, and then press enter. Now this gets tricky for those who are not used to following this type of uh, nomenclature. So let's go through this using the example they have in their documentation. So let's go through and see this example of how they have uh, illustrated this with the phone gap information provided to us in the folder. So what we observe is the computer that was used in creating this screen, Prothmethis colon bin, which we saw over here on my screen, and then the name of the directory on that particular computer, which is Shazron dollar sign, mine was Wender, 
and this will be whatever your whatever your file directory is on your particular system. Then we have the following: a space period forward slash create space tilde forward slash desktop forward slash now this is the name of your folder. This is called hello world in this example. Space and then the reverse domain name org.apache.hello world. Then space. Hello world is a project name. So let's type this in to our terminal window and see what happens. As you see there's a space already created between the dollar sign and our first uh, entry point. So we type in period forward slash create space the tilde which is shift and you hit the button just to the left of button number one forward slash desktop forward slash hello world space now the reverse domain org dot apache dot hello world space hello world hit return and what's appeared on the screen you see this folder pop up this is now my hello world folder which will contain all the files that I need to proceed to creating a program for iPhone or the iPad.